All right, so uh, let's talk about security. Uh, so when we're, when we're securing uh, applications, the, the classical way to secure an application is that, um, so here's me, uh, and through the browser, uh, I want to access uh, the server uh, certain pages. Right, there's, so there's quite a, uh, so some pages will be public and won't be protected, and some pages will be protected. So this is protected. Uh, so, so ideally, what would happen is that, um, uh, uh, what what um, what would happen is that if I ask for pages that are not uh, protected, right, that are completely public, uh, I won't be challenged, right, and it comes back and it serves that one page, correct? Uh, but if we ask for for a page that that, that is protected, uh, the server is going to stop us and provide you some some login information that says no, uh, you can't you can't go there. So this is the, the classical mechanism. We protect uh, content by protecting a particular URL. I say, you know, this the all pages under a particular URL uh, you cannot navigate there. Okay, that's a very classical way of of, of, of protecting uh, resources, right? And that's that's been like that for for quite a while. And we're certainly not going to have to support that. Right? We're going to have to support those the, that kind of login, right? Uh, protecting uh, uh, navigation. So one of them is protect. Uh, navigation, meaning um, I you won't be able to navigate to certain pages unless you tell us who you are. That's one thing. Uh, the other uh, pr protection that we're going to have to consider is, um, which is not classical, is that once this content, once you have been allowed to go to a particular page, and that page downloads and it's here on the on the on the client. Because uh, our applications are mostly client side, right? This over here is going to have JavaScript that's going to run on the on the client on the browser, which is going to go back to the server asking for data. Yes. So these are going to be AJAX calls. These are going to be AJAX calls that are going to come uh, from the browser over asking for data. Correct? Right. Now that too would will have to be protected as well. Uh, because these these uh, these uh, queries are, are also URLs. You know? Uh, you know, as far as the server is concerned, the server uh, you know uh, doesn't really care if you're asking for something for a URL for something HTML or you're asking for something that is JSON. Right? As far as the server is concerned, they're both URLs. Okay, they're both gets. Uh, one is asking for some ASCII and the other one is asking for some JSON. Right. Uh, so typically, classically. We would we we uh we, we haven't been uh, uh been forced to do something like this. There was no need to protect these kinds of queries because uh, protecting the content was enough, right? In in uh, a classic uh, um, uh, dynamic web applications, if you protected the page, it was enough because the page was rendered right here and then, right? The page immediately queried the database, right? It accessed all the data that it needed. Uh, it rendered the page dynamically, and then it went out to the to, to the server, to the client. Right? There was no need for the for the page to come back and ask for anything from the server. Yes. So classically, it was enough just to protect the URL. But over here, it's different. Not only do we need to protect the URL, we also need to protect the AJAX calls. All right. Um, and, uh, and and in particular, uh, AJAX calls that modify the data. Right? These AJAX calls, some of them will be gets, some of them will be posts, right? some of them will be deletes, right? some of them will be puts. If we don't protect this, right, this URL will be open to the public. Anybody with a, you know, with a application such as uh, Postman or Poster right, would be able to just send URLs right, and query you know, the list of all users. Right or a, or a particular user and see their profile information, right? Uh, and uh, or 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 snoop or, or or as a as a valid user, they could snoop the, uh, the 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 traffic back and forth and see how the data is coming back and forth between the client and the server, and then try to you know find uh, weaknesses in our in our APIs. Correct. Uh, in, in particular, how about posts? Being able to post things or create new data. Uh, for using APIs or, or even delete data, right, uh, with, with APIs. So that's very, very dangerous. Right? So definitely we need to protect this, right? Uh, but, but not only do we need to protect all URLs, it will typically be depending on a particular role, right? 
uh, because uh, authentication has really two, two sides, right? One of them is, do I know who you are, right? And once I determine whether I know who you are, I need to determine what can you do now that I know who you are, right? Uh, depending on your particular role, you should be allowed to do certain things, but not others, right? We refer to this, one of them is, uh, is authentication, right? Meaning, do I know who you are? And the second half is authorization. What are you authorized to do once I know who you are? Okay. Uh, so, for instance, uh, retrieving a list uh, of all the users might not be a valid use case for an individual user, right? As a, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a, um, uh, uh, just as a user, a normal user. But if you're an admin, that's a perfectly uh, a valid use case, right? Listing all the users. Correct. Right. So we need to be able to also distinguish, you know, what. Ajax calls can you do, what, are, what is allowed, and uh, first do I know who you are, and then once I know, are you even allowed to do that? Make sense? All right, so, so let's uh, look at uh, uh, those, those capabilities. How to, how to do all this.